We sleep, or try to sleep, for about one-third of our lives. This means you've been asleep for a substantial portion of your life. Many people look for methods to work late to accomplish more, but what about the things your body accomplishes while you sleep? Keep watching, because we'll be talking all about sleep, why it is important, how a sleep cycle works, what happens to your body and brain when you sleep, and how to get better sleep. Why do we need sleep? When you inquire why someone appears exhausted or in a foul mood, a typical response is, I didn't sleep well last night. Getting enough sleep is crucial for maintaining good physical and mental health. Your body and mind relax, deal with stress, and store energy during sleep. Additionally, sleep helps you grow, heal, and strengthen your immune system. Because of this, getting too little sleep puts you at risk of developing certain illnesses. Throughout the night, many stages of your sleep cycle shift. The events that take place during the various sleep stages affect how well you sleep. What are the stages of sleep? During the night, you go through three to five cycles of sleep. Non-REM sleep and REM sleep are the two phases that make up each cycle. Non-REM sleep. Non-REM sleep lasts one to two hours and is more difficult to awaken from. Non-REM sleep has three stages, which are Stage 1, N-REM, N1. Those initial five to 10 minutes when you drift off to sleep make up the first stage of sleep. In this stage, your muscles and eyelids start to feel heavier. Now that you're in this light sleep, you start to softly drift. In this stage, it's quite easy to wake you up. Stage two, NREM, N2. This is the second stage, which lasts between 30 and 60 minutes. Here, your body prepares for a very deep slumber. You alternately tense and release your muscles, your heart rate decreases, and your internal temperature decreases. Stage three, NREM N3. Very deep sleep occurs during this stage, which lasts 20 to 40 minutes. It is also known as the slow wave stage of delta sleep. Your brain starts to emit delta waves, very slow brain waves. It's difficult for you to wake up at this stage. REM sleep. Brain activity rises during REM sleep, leading to vivid dreams. Also, you can't move your arms or legs because your muscles are paralyzed. Breathing accelerates and blood pressure and heart rates rise. The first sleep cycle includes around 10 minutes of the REM period. With each sleep cycle, the REM phase gets longer. What happens to your body and brain during sleep? As you acquire the rest you need, growth hormones and proteins are released by your body. A restful night's sleep supports healthy immunity, bone and muscle growth, and tissue regeneration. Lack of sleep can shorten your life expectancy and make you more susceptible to diabetes, obesity, and heart issues. Sleeping gives you a brief respite and makes you feel better the next day. Sleep also strengthens your brain, restores abilities, and repairs nerve cells. Stay tuned, because we'll wrap things up with some tips to get better sleep. Five habits to get better sleep. Five, establish a sleep schedule. Try to have a consistent bedtime and wake up time each day. Your body and mind will remain rested if you follow this sleep routine. If it's taking you too long to fall asleep, you might want to consider doing something calming before bed like reading or listening to music. Four, limit stimulants before bed. Avoid consuming caffeine and alcohol before bed because they can make it difficult for you to fall asleep or even disrupt your sleep pattern. Three, maintain a sleep-friendly space. In your sleeping area, you need to create a relaxing atmosphere by controlling temperature, lighting, and noise level. Two, don't use electronics. 
A hormone necessary for sleep is melatonin. Blue light emissions from gadgets disrupt sleep since they prevent the production of melatonin. 1. Watch your diet. Lack of sleep is tied to the levels of two appetite-related hormones called ghrelin and leptin. These hormones are related to feelings of hunger and fullness. It's normal to have a sleepless night now and then, but if you feel that you're not getting enough sleep, you should speak to your doctor. Help is available.